Fragrances are getting pretty out of hand. I mean, you can find fragrances for 100, 200, 300, 400. I mean, island fragrances are like 500 bucks. And it starts becoming a problem when it reaches that much because you wanna smell good. Obviously, I wanna smell good, but you don't need to smell good at the cost of breaking the bank. And that's why I made today's video. This is a video I had 10 years ago when I was in college or in high school or, or even when I was just starting out working and I wanted to find scents that make me smell good, but that don't also come at the cost of me maxing out my credit card. These are five fragrances which are under 50 bucks. These are all bangers of fragrances. Some of these have gotten more compliments than Creative Mentos for me. I'm not even kidding, no joke. Sit back, enjoy with your favorite beverage, and let's get into my top five best fragrances under 50 bucks. And don't worry, because I wanna have every single one of these fragrances that I'm talking about in today's video all listed in the description box below. I'm gonna make sure they're one, the cheapest you can find online, and two, from the most reputable sources. And they'll all be there and linked in the description box. So number five on this list is gonna be The Dreamer by Versace. And gosh, this is such a unique fragrance. Uh, has so much personality to it, and also really historically relevant because Gianna Versace, uh, this was the last fragrance he made before he was killed. He literally crafted this himself. He worked on it himself, and he said this was his favorite fragrance he ever made from his whole entire line. It's 35 bucks, bro. You can get this in the small size for, I think, 25, 30 bucks if you're near Marshalls or Ross. A lot of masculine fragrances these days are all about the leather, the tobacco, the mahogany, the sandalwood. This comes in with a really unique perspective because its main note is jasmine and lilies. It's a very aromatic scent. It's a very flowery scent. And it's very tough to make a flower a masculine scent. And it does that here really beautifully. It's a great blend of just fragrance and flower and masculine notes. And it does a great job of just standing out from the crowd from all the other masculine fragrances out there just smell like Old Spice and shower gels. I recommend this to anyone who's looking to switch things up a bit. You don't want to smell just the typical fresh and clean. You want fresh and clean, but you know, a hint of jasmine or lily or something else there to make you stand out. For 35 bucks, you really can beat it. You're getting a great designer fragrance from a great master perfumer, great buy, great blind buy for someone who's looking for fragrance, particularly for the spring or summertime. Can't go wrong with Versace's The Dreamer. Number four is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. They have a parfum version. Uh, this is the out intense version. I think it's better to have fragrances that smell stronger because otherwise what's the point of wearing a fragrance if no one can smell you, right? Light Blue is that beach scent. It's that scent that I'm, I think of like uh, Tom Cruise in Night and Day. Any movie that you've seen of a dude surfing or on the beach or or just having fun near and about like a daytime party vibe, which there's an ocean somewhere in the back. Think Malibu. Dolce & the Light Blue is a perfect scent that encapsulates that like strength of the ocean and the power of just being outdoors and having fun with people. Wearing uh, Hawaiian shirts, wearing white linen pants, just everything you can think of of the fun of summertime in a bottle. Because what this does so differently unique versus other fragrances is that it has a very zesty note. It has a lot of citrus in it. And most of these other Dior Sauvages and stuff like that have done a great job of making a masculine fresh shower gel scent. But this one adds some personality to it by making it citrusy. There's a very strong orange zest peel note in this. I love that scent part of it because it really just takes it a step further and all for under $45. I mean, this size here you can get for, I mean, the smaller size for sure you can get for like 30, 35 bucks, but this size itself, I think you can get for 45. I will die on my deathbed saying this is one of the best times scents for summertime and the lasting power of this is just insane. Most summer fragrances don't last that long because the notes used in summertime fragrances are just really light. But this one has somehow made the staying power for five, six hours, which is very damn impressive for a scent that is meant to do its job as a fresh scent. So anytime, think about it. If you're ever going on a boat, if you're ever going to the beach, you have a summertime birthday party, you need to go to a summertime wedding. If you want to class it up, go ahead and get Dolce Bonas Light Blue, great blind buy, and a great gift for other people because this is such a likable scent that most people will find to use anyway. All right, top three. Top three. These three scents are all banger scents, by the way. You can't go wrong with any single one of these scents. They are all great in their own right, but it just depends each cologne on what occasion you use it for. Number three is Versace's Eros. Eros, the god of love, the Greek god of love. And rightfully so because <laughs> this is the best clubbing fragrance. This is the best party fragrance. You can see I've used most of this bottle. This is my second or third bottle. But dude, if you're someone who likes to go out and club, who likes to party, you're in college, you're in a fraternity, live in big cities like New York and LA, and you're constantly going to dinners and on dates, Versace Eros is the most insane fragrance for that. And it's all $35. I'm pretty sure this size, you can even get it for like 25, 30 bucks if you go to a nearby discount retailer. Versace Eros, man, the reason why this stands out and why people like it 
is not just the power and the sense that it really emanates from the skin. It's that green apple note. It's this green apple note with vanilla that makes it stand out in all the right reasons. I mean, <laughs> the funny thing about this fragrance is that it's 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 smells inviting. It almost smells delicious. Like when someone's wearing it, you want to get in closer and smell them even more because you're like, like what what is that? Like, what, bro, what are you wearing? Like that smells incredible. Like I've worn this so many times, especially when I was in college, and my nose got worn out, and I started getting, I just got tired of it. But the, here's the crazy part, man. Like. Even just the last week, I smelt it on someone else and I didn't realize it was Versace Eros. And I was like, dude, what are you wearing? That smells so good. And he was like, Versace Eros. And I'm like, oh, of course, that's what it is. It's that good, man, that even if I don't like it, I still compliment others not realizing what fragrance it is. I've had so many women compliment me in college, like, bro, what are you wearing? I want to get it for my boyfriend. Um, I want to get it for myself. Very strong fragrance for partying, for clubbing. If that's the stage of life you're in, look no further. If you want the king of clubbing, the king of partying, Versace Eros is a fragrance you need. And without a doubt, I would say don't wear this in office settings. If you're having parents over or friends over in an intimate setting, don't wear this, bro, if you are going to um, your, your in-law's house. Like, it just smells like a lot. This is the Playboy of New York. This is what he wears. The Playboy of New York wears this fragrance and he crushes it because he doesn't give a hell about what other people think about him because he knows he's the best smelling dude in the room. If you're in a room, like a club, let's say, and there's like 20 people all wearing really strong fragrances, this one will stand out the most. Maybe it's that apple note, the warm vanilla note, the really inviting nature of it that it smells like a warm apple Granny Smith apple pie uh, but people just really gravitate toward this scent and it did and it's arrows for a reason Versace knew what the hell he was doing right so get this one if you're that type of person who loves to go out who loves to club and party look no further than Versace arrows number two number two fragrance on this list and I hate that it's number two because I freaking love this scent so so much but gosh man if it only just lasted longer if the ingredients only had longer staying power this would be my top three of all time but it's number two because it doesn't last longer on your skin than four hours and if you know about it, then you know that this fragrance is called Dolce Gabbana, the one. Let me see if the camera can focus for a second here. Dolce Gabbana, the one parfum version. This is going to cost you 30, 45. This is going to cost you 45 bucks. So it's a little on the higher end. There is Dolce Gabbana, the one other toilette. That one lasts for like two hours. I would not recommend that one. It's not even worth 35 bucks. But the parfum version lasts a bit longer. So though it is 45, close to that $50 mark, I would say it's worth upgrading to the $45 mark for this one. Bro, this just smells fantastic. I mean, I, when I smell this, I think of some some prince in Dubai or some dude who's just so freaking loaded. He has so much money. He sits on a pile of gold and he's also such a gentleman, a nice, loving guy. Girls love him. Guys want to be him. That's what this scent is in a bottle. On this list, this is probably the most masculine smelling one. It's a more traditional tonka bean, uh, leathery, tobacco, oud scent. But what makes it really different and stand out, what it gives it that personality, is there's a the cardamom note in it. That note you smell in chai, uh, if you're, you know, I know in Hindi we call it the lychee. It's like this particular scent that is so inescapable, but as soon as you smell it, you know exactly what it is. It takes you, it's very nostalgic scent as well. If you're, you know, Middle Eastern or Indian or, you know, from Southeast Asia, because cardamom is such a strong ingredient that's used in a lot of things there. I really can't think of a scent that uh, encapsulates the modern man more than this because other other fragrances are just so manly, you know? It's like, just smells like straight leather. Like some dude just fucking took a leather jacket, put it in a blender, mix it up, and then poured it in a fucking fragrance bottle. You, if, you, if you rock that, have fun, good for you. But this is more the modern man. This is the man who has his shit together, who lives in a big city, who also is respectable, but he also takes care of himself, is groomed well, who wears nice things. He's not just a man's man, you know? He's a man of the world. He's a worldly man, and that's what this fragrance exactly encapsulates. The reason is number two, which pisses me off that it only lasts four hours at most on the skin. That's the reason I don't wear it that often. Um, if you see this is my second bottle, I've worn it a lot, but I just don't wear it that often when I'm going out. This is my go-to scent whenever I have people coming over. So, you know, with more intimate scent, uh, you know, I'm meeting uh, the family, I'm meeting my girlfriend's family, I'm hanging out with friends in my apartment or my, you know, in my house. That's the reason I wear this one because then I get compliments because people can actually smell me. But if I'm wearing it out and about, barely people can smell you. The reason I'm putting this on here is also artistic value. This really just changed the game. Dolce Gabbana 1 is one of the best scents at what it does, which is just being a beautiful scent that perfectly encapsulates the modern man. And also the bottle is just so sexy. I mean, look at that. It's just, imagine have that sitting on your, um, you know, on your, on your bedside table in your bathroom. So get Dolce Gabbana the one if you're looking for a gift for yourself or someone else. It's tough to wear on most occasions, but the times you do wear, people will notice you'll stand up from the crowd and if they can smell you. If they can smell you, they
they will think you're the best selling dude they've ever smelled in their entire life. I call this the Brad Pitt of favorite fragrances because every guy or girl will tell you Brad Pitt's attractive. He's the most attractive guy in the world. That's based on personal preference, but no one's gonna say he's ugly. They're all gonna say he's good looking. Same like this. Every single person will say, this is the one of the best scents they've ever smelled. Is it the best scent most people have smelled? No, personal preference always plays a role, but this is definitely one of the best scents they've ever smelled and they will all say that it smells great and you will get compliments if they can smell you. Drum roll please for number one fragrance on the list. Number one of the best fragrance under 50 bucks and the cheapest fragrance on this list, the one that has gotten me more compliments than actually Creative Ventus, than Tom Ford's effing fabulous. And if you're someone in the fragrance role and you probably know where this is going, Nautica Voyage, 20 bucks, thousands and thousands of reviews on Amazon. Nautica Voyage is the undisputed, undisputed champion of the under $50 fragrance category. I mean, bro, I've gotten so many compliments from this fragrance that it pisses me off because I have so many other fragrances that are so expensive, they're so artistic and, you know, and the note here and this note that and that. If you're looking for just straight compliments, bro, you're just trying to get those compliments and you don't give a shit about the artistic nature or the quality of the fragrance, just get Nautica Voyage. Just get Nautica Voyage. You don't need anything else. You don't need any other fragrance in your entire collection. I don't know what it is, bro. Men just love this fragrance. Women love this fragrance. They love this fragrance. I mean, when I used to wear it, people would be like, what is that you're wearing? I mean, during high school and college, I discovered this fragrance and I wore it a lot. And to the point it became my signature scent. People would almost smell me in the hallway and they'd be like, dude, what are you wearing? Like that smells so good. Or Sid, I know Sid's coming because I smelled him earlier in this hallway. Or people could just smell me because the lasting power on this is so freaking good. Good. Most summer fragrances don't last as long. This lasts lo forever. And it's not even summer fragrance. It's your Swiss army knife of fragrances. You can wear it to the grocery store, to the gym, to, uh, to a date, to a dinner night. If you're wearing a suit, you can wear it. If you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans, a t-shirt and shorts. If you're wearing flip-flops and going to the beach, this does it all. Anytime I don't know what to wear, I wear this. It's a very green scent. Green meaning it smells like, uh, it's like a plant like green leaves, uh, like a plant, uh, like grass. Uh, but what it does is it also has that zest. It has that apple note in there that makes it very appealing. It has orange, it has lemon in it. It's all over just one of the best fresh smelling fragrances. Imagine you're on a yacht, on a yacht. You're wearing all white, because that's just how you rock. You're wearing all white. Uh, there's a bunch of plants around you, green plants all over you on this yacht, just stay with me. And you're eating an apple and you're wearing shades that are just fucking badass. You're wearing a fedora because that's how you rock. And everyone around you is just like, dude, this guy's the shit. That's what it smells like in a bottle. That's the perfect occasion to wear it on a bottle. The cheapest fragrance that I own that also just gets the most compliments out of everything I have. This is an automatic blind buy, automatic gift. This is a great secret Santa white elephant gift. And what's crazy is that it's, uh, it looks good too. I mean, yeah, there's there's just so many positive about this one. It totally dismantles the whole notion of the fragrance game because fragrances are supposed to be better the more expensive they are like most things in life, but this one just absolutely dominates a lot of the heavy hitters. If you're just looking for a fragrance that does it all, will get you the most compliments. You need to buy, you need to watch any other fragrance video at all online. I can guarantee you this one will get you the most compliments, if not equivalent to the most compliments of any other fragrance you have in your collection right now. So I hope you guys enjoy that one. And I mean, I had a lot of fun making this one. This, this is one of my favorite topics to talk about. About. Here's the thing guys. I, this is the video I wish I had 10 years ago You know when I was starting out I didn't have a lot of money and I still wanted to smell fantastic And the problem is that all the fragrance videos out there are telling you to buy hundred dollar twenty dollar three hundred dollar fragrances And honestly, bro, if you just want to smell good You don't need to spend that much money Just take care of yourself have good hygiene and just get one of these fragrances I listed over here There's a lot of good scents out there under 50 bucks These five are my personal favorite that I think are the best that get me the most compliments But really don't worry. You don't need to spend a lot of money to smell great I guess that's the message I'm trying to convey here So if you really enjoyed this video and you liked what I'm doing. I'm on a goal to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this month. That's my goal for end of September. It'll mean a lot to me if you can hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button. Let me know, Sid. We appreciate you, all the energy and effort you're doing in these videos. And we want more videos like this. If you want different types of videos, go ahead and comment below what kind of videos you want to see from me. Um, I'm talking from all things grooming, productivity, men's lifestyle, biohacking, anything under the umbrella of men's lifestyle. That's what I'm passionate about, what I'm really good at, what I know and know a lot. Let me know in the comments. What are your favorite fragrances otherwise that are under 50 bucks? that you want to recommend to the community. And you can follow me on Twitter, on TikTok, on Instagram, at Sid Chavla. That's where I'm going to be talking about more content, one minute videos, and I post every single, single day uh, regarding all things men's lifestyle. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much on following this journey. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.